You don't have to be a geologist to be able to see the story shown by the geochemical map for the Griffin Project. You see the same strong linear patterns for multiple metals reflecting multiple different mineralization events, and these things run for kilometers. There's no breaks between the patterns, suggesting there was no displacement between the events, so anything we find ought to be intact. The fact that the same plumbing was followed repeatedly suggests there's deep penetrating basement structures that controlled the emplacement of multiple mineralization events over time. That's a characteristic of a major trend. And this part of Nevada is characterized by major trends that have been identified, such as the Carlin and the Battle Mountain Eureka trend. The fact that you have overprinting on the same structures means the metals are basically stacked on top of each other, which potentially creates uniquely additive and economic metals endowment.